What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and welcome to the 8th update of my server, Foxshot. So let's get started. So first off, we're at the museum in downtown, and it's just at Warp Museum, you just go straight, and here is the aviation place. Now, I'm not sure if I actually uh, did an update with these, but I feel like I didn't see these before, so I will just take a look at them. Uh, we have a lot of aircraft here, even, I don't know, is that a bomb? Could be a blimp or a bl okay, maybe it's a blimp. It has those little things. I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> there is a lot of propeller aircraft, um, helicopter. It looks like from Vietnam, and this is like some sort of bomber. Like if this was real life, I don't even know how they would even add this. I think it's by Mikhail Paka actually. And let's go to another room. There's the space shuttle, and I think this is a new feature. They have like actual lights that look like stars in the ceiling, that's pretty cool. Alright, so next stop, let's go to Warp Lumber. Now this is a small area, it's just like a y lumber yard that's gonna be worked on. This is by uh, Mario the Rock. I hope he expands it or else like someone else can expand it, you know, this is gonna be where we get what you can see, there's a lot of chopped down trees apparently, <laughs> there's no forest here, so I don't know how they're gonna make a lumber, we'll probably have to grow an entire forest, I don't know what's floating in the distance though, it's a UFO, okay that's kinda weird, alright let's go to warp moon, now moon is actually a pretty new uh, builder on the server, but he is pretty good, and uh, he made these uh, bridges over here, this is like a train bridge, some uh, some ships <laughs> looks like boats yeah I got two um, bridges and he also has a little highway so what is that that looks like a navy ship could be one of those coastal ships what's it called I, for I forgot what it's called but here's the highway it looks pretty good it's supposed to be American and uh, let's go to the next warp warp hospital so this is uh, Warp Hospital, it's in Longview, and uh, we did some work on the road, so there's uh, more uh, intersections and streets now, that's pretty good. And we also have a lot of new trials, so it looks a lot better than it did before. You can see there's a lot of empty space, you can just fill this in, like there uh, is a lot of plots now. And yeah, I think that's... Uh, Pretty much it for War Possible. Let's go to the next one. So here's the power plant by Fast. Uh, he's been working on this for a very long time, but he did add a pipeline right over here, and there's probably uh, some new buildings and vehicles, it looks like. What is this? Like a fire truck? Okay, this guy has a fire truck now, and oh, there's a fire, so maybe this place isn't that safe to work at. I don't know. It could blow up. Um, so it is not a nuclear power plant. It's like. Some kind of oil, maybe oil based or something like that. I don't know. Maybe gas. And here's another building that he has. I have no idea what these are though. Not an expert at this. It looks like dead grass or something. And just taking a look around. This looks like another new building. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the power plant. And let's go on to uh, Warp Theme Park. So this is Ben's theme park. I think those are pretty much the same thing, but there is a new building right over here. And I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a mall though, but there's not really shops yet. So it's kind of empty like a little, well, this place has something. Looks like a chemistry lab almost though. And we got escalators and yeah, I think that's it for the building. I don't know what's other, other stuff is nearby some old boats. Now this is Metal Hills. You can see this is when one of my animations. <laughs> There's a train crash here and there is a little train yard here. It's by Kugel and I think a lot other people they might have added some, some of their trains here as well. But yeah look at this. It's pretty amazing <laughs> and this does go in a little curve. It does extend a little bit more than the last time I saw it though. And this train actually goes to uh, warp scrap you can see it's a little railroad crossing but they don't even have barriers yet so they have to add that but if we go down this road we're gonna arrive to the scrapyard this is where all the bad uh, trains go <laughs> you know they're just rusting here well they can't really rust since it's minecraft but yeah let's go to actual rusting trains 
So if we go down here, this is the main uh, scrapyard Valtero, and I moved uh, some builds over here recently. And this is by Mashed Potato on Planet Minecraft, but in game he's called uh, MLG Potato PVP, <laughs> and he made like some trains over here, and they're just scrapped. So they look a little brown. That's pretty cool though. Got some railroad tracks, and you can see this is what trains will look like when they're rotting and this isn't actually the only rotting train we have on the server you have a lot of trains actually but um let's go back to metal hills and there if you go the other direction like this way you're going to end up with another uh rail yard on the right so it's not the one although this is still by kook i think he had a via rail too i know some of you guys are canadian and if we go down here, it says Hitachi and Virgin on the side. So this is like a train depot by uh, Creeper99. And you can go inside, it's pretty detailed. Look at this, <laughs> it's so beautiful. And you can work on your trains here, it's like a little, almost a little workshop. And here's the big boy. He made it, I think he made it a little bit taller, which is looking pretty good actually. And you can see they're doing some maintenance, they're uh, lifting it off the trucks. So you like, this is a Norfolk Southern train. And there's even more workshop space, and that's pretty cool. And you can see the rest of the rail yard, there's a rotting ice train. And over there, wow, that's, I think that might be a, like some kind of monorail or something. Some maglev. And right over here, I don't know what this is, it says... HST class 43 and I don't know what that is could be British could be actually it might not even be British I don't know what it is <laughs> but yeah this is a pretty cool looking station actually like one you would go to airport I think this would be good for so let me see if there's more stuff to the yard go down here it looks like he might build another building or maybe not this is a sign says Creepers Workshop. Okay, so that's what it's called. Uh, let's go down to Warp Farm. So if we just follow that tracks, so we're going to end up here anyways. Uh, so if you follow this uh, dirt road, you're going to end up with uh, Felix's airfield. And this is not Felix's airport. So this is like uh, some more rural um, landing strip. You can see there is going to be like one Cessna, and that's pretty much it, I think. There's some buildings here, and it's a hangar with the Cessna in it. But if we go m even more down, there's going to be random <laughs> railroad tracks that are abandoned. So you can see they're really overgrown with weeds, and it's like a pretty cool forest. Uh, the trees, I believe, they're by Hans. And if we go down, there's a rusting Allergeheny, and this is a railroad station. It's pretty cool, actually. Like... If you saw this in real life, you'd be like, whoa. Even in Minecraft, it's cool, though. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's go to uh, Warp Phase. So Phase, he built a lot of stuff in a city uh, called Singapore, which is a country. Okay, so there's a map down here. If we go down, that's pretty huge. It looks like some kind of metro system, actually. Okay, why is there an arrow doing this? Okay, but anyways, this is the model city. Wow, there's a lot of buildings here. Uh, got names for everything. Millennia Tower, UOB Plaza. You can see a lot of city planning going down here. And he built a city pretty damn fast. This is above what it looks like. So he has like entire city blocks, streets, and there is a lot of new buildings. A lot more new buildings than last time. And there is the monorail with a little train on his pink train. Purple, we don't see that often. Uh, this is a pretty big place, so I think I'm going to be lost when I do this, though. But there's a lot of things to go over in this. Oh, there's a rail yard. Uh, this might go to the port, I'm not sure. It does a little turn here. Okay, so here's the port, and this is by Leopard. So he's one of our builders, and he's building a port. You can see the trains are transporting the cargo containers. 
a lot of empty ones, and there is uh, some of these gantry cranes just pulling stuff up. And what else? Let's go down and <laughs> explore. Let me just go on the outside, maybe. That's okay. So there's another new building. It's like three of them, and they combine with this thing on top. I think it's supposed to be a ship. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's, I think it's a pretty famous building. I just don't know the name of it. And right over here is some kind of sculpture thing. I don't know what this is. But it's like uh, some kind of art piece, I think. Like this exists in real life in phase. He recreated it. So there's a lot of them. I mean, it looks pretty good. All right, so let's uh, go down. There's uh, the station, of course. So I'm going to try to return back to there. And go down here. Got some nice uh, bay area going on. Some buses. There's uh, some public transportation, you know. All right, so over here, there should be a place to get inside the station. All right down here, you just go down these steps, and we should end up in the metro. So this is pretty big, it says MRT. So I guess just go this way or something, and there is the station. <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot of platforms here. And this is only the below ground, so in the other update video, I believe I already went over this top section, but there is actually another level um, to this. And I'm not just talking about the surface one, there's another one below this one that I'm in right now. And I'm going to try to find my way. This is really hard to check out. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so let me just go back to the beginning. Let's go down here. Maybe it's in one of these. Okay, so if you go down these steps, this is another sub-level for trains and it's like some kind of metro like a subway station I believe you said MRT right and there's two of them and I said it kinda reminded me of that North Korean station like it looks exactly like this like little barrel tunnel down here these steps going down but there is a window here so it will not be that good for a uh, nuclear winter uh, I believe there's a bridge somewhere over here in this area Go down the street. You can see the tracks that extend all the way. Go out to the ocean. And around here, there is, yes, some more of this. Wow, what is this? Like a checking spot? What is cosmic was here? All right, I think this is where like they check the weight of the trucks or something, like some kind of tax booth thing. Oh, there's a railroad crossing here. That's pretty neat. And this railroad's they actually go. I don't know where this goes actually. Could be going nowhere. Oh, okay, so it's a little orange bridge. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to try to go to the other side of the island. Maybe that's where the bridges are. Alright, so we're going down here, and there is this weird statue thing. I don't know what this is, but I think it says made by Hans. Why did you make this Hans? It's like a Merlin. Okay. It's squirting out quite a bit. And here is the new bridges. So there's two of them. Right over here. And there should be another one over there. You can see. Two different bridges. There's like this nice river. I don't know if you can actually like put even a small boat under here. It'll be a lot. Like there's not much uh, room to go under. Maybe if they had like some kind of arch it would be better. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for uh, Warp Base, and let's move on to, uh, uh, let's go to Beacon. So Beacon is a new station by uh, Meeper5, and I helped a little bit. And this is for Metro North, just one of their stations called Beacon. I think it's Metro North, right? And yeah, it's still in the works, but I'm glad that we have like this going on. Maybe in the future it'll look a lot better though. But let's go to uh, Warp Expo. So this is part of Panther, aka Volks Island, and uh, this is the place where they uh, show off their military stuff. 
like a little military show and it actually became kind of like its own like cities this island is pretty huge and this is a new development kind of fuel pipeline going along and there is actually an entrance to this so right over here I think he said this is supposed to be like a factory where they uh, manufacture like a lot of stuff a lot of military vehicles and weapons and yeah this is pretty cool entrance uh, if we go down here we're gonna end up to the gas station the trucks we got like a nuclear missile erector I don't know we have this okay and some regular trucks cars alright so here's Warp Volca and this is part of the island and there is a lot going on around here I don't know if we saw this last time but there is uh, some new cranes going on like the this Ganji crane and this also this looks pretty cool I love these cranes it's shipyard cranes is working on the ship that we saw last time but what we didn't go over is the ship over here if we keep on going down there's gonna be this helicarrier for the Japanese military so the self-defense force the helicopter destroyer even though it's pretty much an aircraft carrier but we have like anime girl from like Spice and the Wolf I believe that's the anime I remember her character but I didn't really watch that beyond like two episodes but yeah this is a pretty nice ship and here's one without like the artwork you can see there's a little cannon right here CIWS or Swiss I think and some regular um, Japanese helicopters they look a lot like the Seahawk but yeah they're actually uh, pretty much the Seahawk I think <laughs> I don't know what difference they have probably for like anti-submarine warfare and this is a giant helicopter wow I didn't see this before yes is this even a helicopter it's like could be a plane almost it has like that tail in the back I don't know it looks could be like a v-22 like that's what it reminds me of but it's probably not it for sure but there is another helicopter here probably I don't even know what that's that's called and uh, right over here we have some planes from this looks like from the avatar but it says Aereo Spatella I don't know I'm pretty sure it's from Avatar the movie but yeah let's go on to uh, warp free build so this is warp free build and uh, if we go with this direction we're gonna end up in the World Trade Center area that LD is working on to go down here there's a lot of new stuff here that's added but it's kind of random stuff that looks like it's part of Spartansburg all right so here is the World Trade Center and it is pretty huge <laughs> and LD is making like the whole plaza going underground so there is underground uh, stores and shops that's gonna be here he already added a bunch of stuff go down here See, this is like the lobby area. And I think this is supposed to be before 9-11. This is what it would have looked like. But it is still in the works. Alright, so we're at Warp Coast Guard. And let's go over what it looks like right now. There is actually another uh, ship on right over here. It's a smaller ship. I think it's called the Cutter as well, right? And it has room for a helicopter in the back. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you go down here, this is what it looks like so far. A bunch of new additions. And there is even now like a little daycare center, like a little playground. That was pretty cool seeing that in-game. I don't know, is this like a sandbox? But it looks like they just made a hole in the ground. A little shed. And if you go inside, there's like little blocks and this random swing inside. Which I thought was pretty weird how you have a swing inside the house. But oh well, looks like these are the names of some kids. Fast, LD, Jeffrey. Okay, these guys, Jeffrey and Fred Will, I don't even think they're people on the server. But uh, let's move on. Let's see what else there is. Uh, there's, I believe this is a new building in this little forest grove area. And right over here is a swimming pool. So Milk Alpaca, he found out it's a swimming pool. Actually, it's pretty nice. Like, 
All right, so here is the view. It looks pretty good. It's like an entire town by itself. And there is even a subway, like the sandwich store right over here. We have it in banners. That's pretty cool. And um, I don't even know if you can go inside. No, there's no, there's no interior yet for this. Although I think he will add interior to uh, most of the buildings. Oh, this little computer. See downtown, we cleared out <clears throat> some spots over here. I don't know why that green is a little bit different, but yeah, this is a new open area. I hope to build something great over here. And if we go down the street, get past my bus apocalypse, and we're gonna be looking at some cars. Not those cars on the sides, but the ones past this uh, courthouse. And this is the new repository for uh, cars and like trucks and buses. You can see this is where we have the taxis, police cars, regular cars, uh, trucks and buses, delivery trucks and construction trucks. We're gonna have to add a lot of new stuff here. And here's the bus by Omega. So at the train museum, there is a bunch of new trains, of course go down here and we also made the tracks have more space in between them because there was those little spacing error you can see this is by uh, Hans over here and some are by Elixir down on this side and Elixir made like this little wor uh, workshop for the trains so we now we have like more than one workshop that's pretty good maybe we have three I don't know yeah we see some lifting over here and that's not even above the track, so I don't know if that's actually safe or not. But yeah, this is what his workshop looks like. And you see Elixir, I think he did some tutorials on the server over here as well. See, this is some of his locomotives. Some other locomotives over here. Alright, so here is Warp Panther, and this is Panther's uh, military base. So if we go north over here past these uh, A-10 Warhawks and we'll end up where the snow is and it was originally supposed to be like the snowy alley but sort of like mostly green now but if we go this way we're gonna end up with the Gustav railway gun now this might have been here for a while but I just want to show you this in the update you can see it can angle upwards and it's hauled by us uh, two steam engines you can see right here and this is just pretty cool have oh they even have trains in the back pushing it so there's like four uh, steam engines and there is no coal over here so I don't know how that's actually gonna work but it can't work in Minecraft anyways but yeah it's still pretty cool all right so we're at warp Koopa and Koopa is new builder on the server and this is by uh, FaZe and Koopa and Creeper did make uh, some of the trains over here See, this is a new station, and it is near uh, Metal Hills, but it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's not connected to anything, but it is just another uh, station and a rail yard. So if we go down here, we can see E5 Shinkansen, and this might be a TGV. I'm not sure. Could be a TGV duplex. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that, and let's go to our last stop. Warp Prison, and this is where the convicts build. Now, there's a lot more stuff added to the prison. You know, they just keep on building their own stuff. And let me try to find a good place. There is a lot new uh, train stations going along here. Go down, steam engines, more steam engines. And if we go this way, we're going to end up where I hope I can find it. The Sodor map is sort of um, this right at the border, <clears throat> but this guy, someone was making Vickers down apparently. So this is what it looks like so far. We got even flying Scotsman. Someone made this into a Minecraft version. That was pretty cool. We got this one. This is a pretty old uh, steam engine. I think it's called the Rocket. And this is one of their stations. If we go over here, what is this? I don't even know who these are. They're probably like some kind of character that I don't know, but I'm just traveling around. So here is another part. There you have a lot of trains just crammed in here. 
But yeah, this looks like a little wall. Kind of like Napward Station. And yeah, just random... Okay, these are just steam engines without faces, so they just took out the face. What it would look like realistically. You know, you don't put a face on it. And yeah, I think that's it for my review of the prison. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the 8th update of my server Foxshot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to come here and build, you can just watch my video that I put out recently. It's called like how to become builder on Foxshot. Just watch that video, follow the instructions, and hopefully you'll be accepted. So if you guys just want to like come over here and look around, you can. You can just be a tourist, uh, warp to people, actually teleport to people without the TPA command, uh, warp to places, you know, just take a look around. It's a pretty cool server. Uh, I recommend you actually come if you haven't already. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.